Hello Collective, welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, and follow, subscribe, do whatever it is your spirit is letting you or leading you to do. Thank you for your support. Let's go ahead and get into this reading. What in the name of source is going on here? So we have someone from your past that is having some type of emotional distress. Someone is in remorse. They may have lost a lot of finances. Is going through a lot of heartbreak and this is because of some betrayal this person did to you someone was collaborating with a group of people to cause you an ending this could be someone that is having fun memories of you maybe looking at old pictures and videos of you and things of that nature but someone is living in regret for what it is that they did to you this was a heavy betrayal someone is being forced to go within to see the truth something has been revealed all of the lies, schemes, and things these people were pulling up, this person was pulling up, it is being exposed. There is someone in here as well. I'm getting a feminine energy that feels entitled to something that belongs to another person. There could be a D that was hitting, a will that was hitting. It's like someone was passing away and they made their final will, had their final will written. And the person they put on there is not the person these people wanted on there or the person this entitled woman feels that should be on their will. So these people have hidden this will either in a floor or something of that nature. There is something going on with a will. You're, you're familiar in here, whether it's an ex, a family member, a friend from your past knows about this situation. There could have been like a letter sent to you that this person shredded burn tore up uh threw away did something with it but someone did something with an official letter that was sent to you to bring something to your attention it's like you are someone abundant living in poverty like you don't know you are rich you don't know you are maybe like a millionaire you don't know you own businesses you don't know you own a mansion you don't know you own a lot of properties things of that nature right and you are living in poverty without knowing this but it is being revealed to you so pay close attention. This is going to be coming up very soon. Things are about to take a shift in your life, right? This is current energy. This is not past or future. This is current energy. These people are taking actions to block some type of message from coming to you. There was supposed to be justice brought into this situation a while back, but there is a queen of pentacles and a king of wands that have been working together to block balance from being brought into this situation they have been blocking a message from making it to you they want you to stay stuck in financial like they want to steal your opportunity block your forward movement these people have been working over time over time over time i don't know how else to emphasize that but they have been working over time to block this uh, abundance from coming towards you so this also has something to do with some type of twin twin flame connection you may have had some type of love connection with someone it could be that you and this ex had a genuine connection you two had a soul contract but this person was led by greed this is like maybe like a spineless coward that would do anything for money and now the money that they betray you for is gone or it is not coming so at the end of the day this person is realizing that all of the betrayal they did against you or the actions they took against you was all were all in vain because there is nothing that they gain out of it. it's just heartache headache possibly sickness uh frenemies enemies and now they don't have any type of connection with you because you two's connections have been uh cut you two are no longer bonded together there is no contract between the two of you the soul contract has been voided between you and this person this person is also experiencing betrayals in his life he may have experienced some type of loss maybe he lost a close person to him for some of you but there's a lot going on with this person they could have some legal matters coming in for them because they did something to interfere with an official letter official mail so these people have been committing crimes behind the scenes not realizing that they have been being investigated so they've been watching you while they were being watched as well and i don't think they know that but i guess they will now if they watch this video you all have been being investigated so the truth that you've been trying to hide it's known you you've done quite a s-h-i-t-t-y job at hiding your fingerprints footprints blueprints whatever you want to call it
it is in the know. Everything you've been doing behind the scenes is in the know. You had this person under some type of illegal investigation to make them seem unfit for this blessing, for this abundance, for this inheritance. And the whole time you yourselves have been being monitored. So if someone has so much evidence on you all, they don't even need anyone to testify, be a witness, none of that. The evidence speaks for itself. Okay, someone in here, possibly this queen of pentacles that is a liar. That is why we have this page of source out here. The page of source in the upright is someone that is sharp mouth. They tell the truth. They are straightforward. But because it is coming in the reverse, this is a liar. She lies about everything. This is someone pretending to be something that she is not. She is still pretending to be telling the truth, but she's not telling the truth. She is a God bullfist liar. She is a false person. This woman doesn't even know who she is. If you were to strip her of her money, her clothes, uh, her ability to have explicit interaction with other people, there's nothing else left. There is a shallow, a hole within their body. So this is a liar. Lord Jesus, that was a little harsh, but I have to channel the message how it comes out. Excuse me, people. Oh, Lord, have, mer have mercy. This is someone shallow. This is someone that is just empty, void of any human emotions. This is someone that is extremely money focused, very greedy, does not think about other people. All she cares about is herself. It's very much quite possible that the people that she has been collaborating with, her minions, she's been portraying them as well behind the scenes. And they don't know that, but they've been com uh, committed to this woman. She tells them move, they move. She tells them sit, they sit. They have some type of fear or intimidation of this woman, but she's nothing but a sorry excuse for a human being. Let's move on. This woman has been blocking some type of uh, abundance for someone. She's been working with this king of wands, and this is someone emotionally imbalanced. This is someone unethical. This is why the justice card is in the reverse position next to him. This is someone unethical. This is not someone that has any type of logic when it comes to doing what's right. And what's wrong this is someone that is just as greedy as her this person could have lost some type of position is that they were given a position giving power and things like that but they were abusing it so it was taken from them because they are unethical and moral this is someone that will do any and everything for money they don't care who they betray any of that nonsense it does not apply to this person this is a selfish person basically all they care about is finances just like this person having the good things in life living a luxurious life while other people are struggling and living in poverty this could be like a company that this person was put in charge of she was working with him as well and instead of looking out for the employees they were stealing money from the company committing crimes trying to block other people forward movement these are some greedy people, and I'm so sorry I sound insensitive, but I cannot stand people like this because all they care about is themselves. They don't care how other people are suffering. They, these people have been aware for many years on the conditions their employees, co-workers have been in, and they did not care as long as they were benefiting from the situation. So these two are in collaborations. This is a queen of pentacles in the reverse because she's dishonest. She's a liar. She's a pretender. Laura, I have a lot I could say, but I'm going to leave her at that. And this is a queen, a king of wands, immoral, does not care about right or wrong. All he cares about is himself. This is a self-centered person. This person may have some type of delusional way of thinking as well. Something about their mental is not correct. So that's that. They were, they were blocking some type of message from coming in. They want to use stuck in some type of uh, state of lack. No money, having to pinch penny, living from paycheck to paycheck, having the budget extremely uh, tight, right? And they have been stealing from you for a long time. These are raw, these are thieves, criminals. They may look sophisticated on the outside, but on the inside, there is nothing going on. Okay. So these are thieves. They are still planning to, to uh, steal this abundance, to block this abundance. These people are still working over time to block your forward movement. The wheel of fortune is out here because regardless of what these two in this group does together you are still moving forward because this is your spiritual inheritance you are the one that is meant to come into this situation and bring light okay when you start in your new beginning remove any old people from this situation whether it's a company whether it's a school a church whatever it is 
remove all of the old people that were in management. Start up brand new. Do not collaborate with anyone that was there before you, okay? They do not have any good intentions for you whatsoever, okay? So lay them off, lay them off modestly. Be very courteous to them. Do not be rude. Do not be disrespectful to them. Do not lower yourself to their levels. Because when you start in this new beginning, this position, whatever it is, you are going to have people pretending to be kind to you, pretending to like you and things like that. And you know why they're doing that is because they absolutely have to because now you are their boss, but they don't like you. So basically, if you keep them, what you're doing is keeping the enemy close to you. And they are going to be working behind the scene tirelessly to cause you endings, to make you seem unfit, to make you seem unqualified for this opportunity. But God knows that you qualify for this opportunity. That is why he is blessing you with this opportunity. So do not leave any of these old people in here. I don't care what they have going on. Their grandma died. Their whoever has something going on. They lost their job, lost their family member, lost a car, they're homeless, whatever it is they go, they has, that, it, that they have going on. Give them your sympathy and wish them farewell, okay? So someone is taking action to come in and cause you some type of mental stress. They want you trapped in some type of situation. Someone may be, or these people may be trying to get you trapped so that they can have you in prison for something you have nothing to do with, okay? They're trying to set you up basically to make you look like you stole something, did something illegal, owe them some money, but you don't owe anyone any money. You didn't steal nothing. You didn't commit any crime. You didn't sign any papers. You don't know nothing about anything, right? There is something going on that these people are hiding that has something to do with an emperor. They may be working behind the scenes to cause, some, uh, to cause an emperor a heartbreak. They're possibly messing with his business, interfering with his business because this emperor refuses to collaborate with these people to have you trapped. It's like they want this masculine to leave you out in the cold. So for some of you, this could be a father figure. This could be a boss that you work for. They may be intimidating him, sending him threats and things like that, telling him that he needs to let you go, fire you and things of that nature. And if he doesn't, they're going to put an end to his business. And they're, they're, they're quite possibly taking actions behind the scenes to interfere with this man's business because this is someone of high moral character. This is someone that has boundaries. This is someone that is spiritual. This is someone that has self-respect for himself. This is someone that stands on principle. So he knows what these people are doing and he is not here for it. So they are doing things behind the scene, messing with his business. And they don't quite realize that everything they do is incriminating them as well. They are being monitored. Every little thing they do is being monitored. And I don't think they realize that. It's like taking action to cause someone an ending, but you don't realize you're taking action to cause yourself an ending. You are ensuring an ending for yourself. Just because this person chooses to stand on principle, stick to their morals, does not give you the right to mess with their business, things of that nature. You choose to reside in a low vibrational energy, not this masculine. Okay, so someone is taking quick action. They may want to come in and tell you the truth, bring something to your attention that you are not aware of, and you are going to be taking action. You are being advised to take action once it, once this is brought to your attention. If you need to get a lawyer, get a lawyer. If you need to get legal counsel, need to appear in court, do just that. Spirit is saying that you definitely should not be living in fear of anyone. There is nothing these people can do to you that spirit cannot fix, okay? Spirit is on your side. You have the universe on your side. Your angels are on your side. They are watching you. Right now, you have a heavy energy of protection around you, so there is nothing anyone can do to block your forward movement. This is your destiny. This is destined for you. This is your birthright, okay? Whatever it is that's going on in your life right now is going to be over very soon. This is not a permanent state. Okay, so right now, see this period period as a period of rest. Take time to heal, sleep, relax, read books, read up on a lot of different things, learn about management, things of that nature, do things to improve yourself during this waiting period. But just know that this blessing is not being held from you from by the most high. It is going to come to you exactly when it was intended to come 
to you the reason why all of this chaos is going on is because the character of each person involved in here needed to be exposed needed to be illuminated so that you can have a whole of this blessing in peace and quiet because if these people were still in this company and you came about they would have caused you a huge ending you wouldn't have understood the blessing the, uh, the magnitude of the gift that you had in your hand and you would have, would have allowed these people to enable you to fumble this blessing so when you start anyone that was previously working for this company retire them sack them lay them off okay modestly maybe give them like a pension or something of that sort do not you know bring attention to what you know that they were doing behind the scenes there's no need for any of that stay polite with these people you do not need to lower yourself to any demonic or low vibrational energetic level just be courteous to them and let them go build a new team from scratch and move forward and bring new life into this company because this is what this company needs is new life okay vibrance creativity new beginnings okay hope like the fool right be the fool in this situation people don't know the fool in the tarot deck is the smartest person because of his perspective on life his mindset his approach on new beginnings and things like that he in he approaches things with an open mind right positive energy things like that so that is how you need to approach this new beginning of yours okay there's a secret in here someone is keeping this emperor may know more than he's telling you maybe that's why this moon is out here i'm also hearing something about a month so all of this could be resolved within a month so these people have been working behind the scenes for a long time and it is all going to be coming to an end within a month possibly okay so well, let's do a little recap here your ex someone from your past or this is just uh, uh symbolizing the people from your past so you could be aware of who these people are they are taking all of these actions against you these could be people you went to church with people you went to school with people you worked with family members a combination of all of the above and then some because you know we have frenemies and enemies um and then you know the rest all of them has been working in the background of you to prevent some type of connection so this is the you and someone coming together to manifest a new reality you're supposed to be working with someone okay you were supposed to work with this king of wands with the head that likes moral but this person is selfish they didn't want to share with you so you two were supposed to have a genuine partnership in business to create a new reality for the employees within this organization to give them new life give them hope it's like the, the people in this community this um, organization this job they have been living under a dark cloud for a long time and it has a lot to do with this queen of pentacles this is someone very vindictive very selfish someone that is into magic she does some type of magic behind the scenes this is someone that pretends to be very this is someone that pretends to be like a queen of cups, but she is in the reverse for every queen in the deck is what I'm hearing. And this masculine is no different. This is someone that's in the reverse for every king in the deck. This person could be losing a lot of finances because he's been paying people behind the scenes to block your forward movement, to block any type of opportunities from coming in. So it's like you leave one company, and then they start reaching out to the company that you start, the new company you start working for trying to get you fired setting up scenarios to make you look unfit for your work sending you spell works dark works and things like that so you feel lazy and things like that to not want to get up to do your job it's like they don't want you taking care of yourself they, they want you in a deplorable state so that you can go back to someone begging them for help possibly going back to your ex to beg them for help or even you're going back to this company to ask them for a position you may have had with them in the past but it's not happening that is not your destiny your destiny is not to live in poverty your destiny is not to live in like and things like that and this is why it is being changed you have done the work the most high is saying that you just need to trust it just a little bit longer things are going to be balanced 
out. These people are experiencing endings and betrayals. And while they are going through their endings, receiving karma and things like that, you are going to be elevating right before their eyes. They will see you. The Most High is going to prepare a table for you in the midst of your enemies. They are going to see you elevate. So they will know that everything they did trying to take you down, trying to block you, trying to stop you was never intended to work. It was never going to work. They were just entertaining the most high, your lineage, your angels the whole time. Okay. There is nothing these people can do to block your forward movement. Someone is in remorse. A group of people are in remorse because the truth is being spoken talking about an injustice that was done to someone to block their forward movement and to cause them heartbreak. I kid you not. Someone entitled did a betrayal and it is this queen of pentacles. She lied. She lied. She told a lot of lie and did a lot of manipulations. She masked the truth in lies. This is someone that will tell a little truth, but a whole bunch of lies. Okay. And she did all of this to block your forward movement. Wouldn't it be coincidental if this, this this is the same person that has to come and give you this opportunity, make you know, make you aware of this opportunity or this abundance that belongs to you? Wouldn't spirit be funny if they had the very person that was working against you be the one that has to give you the notice about this abundance? Huh? There's something she did with a message. And she has been interfering communi with communications from making it to you, making them. She has been interfering to block communications being uh, uh, coming to you successfully. So they're interfering with emails, phone calls, text messages. Anyone they think is coming towards you, they've been encountering them, going to the post office to interfere with your mail and things of that nature. These people have gone above and beyond to block this opportunity from coming towards you. And it is it has something to do with bigotry, something to do with greed, insecurity, a lot of different things. But overall, it is greed for these people. This is why they took all of these actions to cause you a loss, okay? This woman may be taking some type of action to come towards you. She wants to come in and cause some type of illusion, have you juggling, not knowing which way to go and things like that. This is not your friend. She's going to present herself to be someone that is modest, someone nice, someone caring. She really likes you. You two have always been friends or she's always had a soft spot or a, a good spot for you. Blah, 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 blah. It's all BS. It's always been BS. This is someone that doesn't even know who she is. This is someone that likes control over her own self, her own life, but she wants to be in control of other people. He is the same. He likes control. These people are into some devious activities, lots of illegal activities, uh, uh, fraudulent activities. These two who have some type of prison sentence coming up for them, and they may not even know that, okay? Because these have been the two main corporate taking actions against you, but they've been doing it from behind the scenes where they will act like they don't have anything, like they don't have nothing to do with what has been going on, but they are the one orchestrating everything from behind the scenes. I BS you not. The truth is being illuminated about a lie that was told about someone stealing some money, someone living situation, someone uh, uh, not being mentally stable and things like that. These people painted you out to be mentally unstable, emotionally unstable, someone loose with the mouth. They told people that you were a liar and things like that. But the truth is being revealed. One spirit do it, one the universe do it. The lie, a lie can stretch for a while, but the truth, just one truth will come in and cut that sucker off. So they've been telling lies all of this time. And now the truth is being revealed and these people are seeing you for exactly who you are. They're seeing the situation for what it is. They're seeing these people for exactly who they are. The, the, a lie will travel, but the truth, honey, the truth will clear that sucker up in a heartbeat. Okay. Someone here is going to prison, as I mentioned. Either of these people go into prison because they did something illegal. There are other people behind the scenes as well that have been working together. This is a COVID that has been going on for many, many years. And I don't even think the owner of this business knew. Or maybe they knew and just didn't have a way to put an end to it. Someone here used to intimidate some business owner. Right? 
someone used to intimidate a business owner. This woman has a temper issue, an anger issue. This is why this bitch of source is out here in the reverse. This woman has anger issues. This queen of pentacles, this is someone with anger issues. She's very controlling. This is one of those helicopter mom. If she's if she has children, I'm hearing a son. She may have a son. Something there's something going on with she and her son. He may be distancing himself from her because maybe he's realizing what she is, the truth about her, or maybe this is another energy in here. But there's something going on with a mother and a son. The son is done with her because he's seen her for exactly who she is. Maybe now he's coming into awareness about how wicked his mother is. But this woman is a bull-faced liar. This is a liar. Very dishonest, very superficial, airhead, I keep hearing. So this is not even someone smart. And this is why she's so malicious, because she knows she has nothing to offer. She doesn't know what she's talking about. I don't even know how she got this opportunity or this position. She may have slept her way to the top. It's a whole lot. I'm going to get off this energy because just touching the card, like I can get her energy and it's very nasty and dark, very thick, very thick. Anyways, there was a heavy betrayal in here to block your finances, to block your forward movement, to block your life possibly wanting you homeless and things like that, wanting to come in to steal your joy, your life, your balance, your energy, all of the above. This has been kept a secret for a long time. These people want you living in fear. The most high is telling you to live in confidence because everything is being balanced out in your favor. This is why we have the page of wands out here. You are being told to live in confidence, walk out in confidence with your head, hell high, no matter what is going on in your life. Do not lose your temper. Do not say nothing to anyone. Do not worry about the future. The future is blissful for you. It is abundant. It is prosperous for you. So you have nothing to worry about. You are being told to walk in confidence no matter what is going on. These people are doing things to intimidate you, cause you fear, interfering with your life, wanting to get you fired from work, interfering with your finance, finances. If you have any other, any kind of business online, they're trying to short, shut their business down. They are doing a whole lot behind the scenes to cause you an ending. You may be speaking the truth in some way, shape, or form. You may have sent a letter, a voicemail, or made a call. There's something going on, and it revealed the truth about these people. People are seeing them for who they are, and this has been the secret that has been being kept for a very long time. But the truth is being revealed, and the Most High is telling you to trust it, trust the universe to act on your behalf. Do not take any actions against these people. Everything is taken care of. Everything is being taken care of. It's what I just heard. Everything is being taken care of. Relax. Have a blessed day.